Red Robot's body can be broken down into three easy shapes. A square, a circle for the stomach, and a triangle for the hips. The legs can be broken down into elongated teardrop shapes. The hands also make little triangle shapes. Before beginning the drawing, it's important to make sure that you have a strong line of motion. The line of motion goes from his head all the way down to his toe. The gun's relatively simple if you have the hand down right. All you have to do is make sure the stock is in it and the barrels point upwards. Now, feet aren't very difficult for me, but shoes are, and I'm not sure why there's a difference between the two. But for the shoes, I kind of imagine them as little Pringles, like that one, if you look very close. That one kind of looks like a Pringle. So, I mean, if that helps you, imagine the feet as Pringles or like a duck bill or something. And now the hat. I, yeah, yeah, I, I had trouble with the hat. I had no idea what the hell I was doing. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I mean, eventually I figure it out, but maybe put it off until the end. Just, yeah. Now looking back at it, it's probably very unprofessional to have a how-to where I, um, don't know how to. But, you know, welcome to YouTube, the home of people with shaky video cameras and unprofessional how-tos. Uh, not mine, of course. I'm talking about all the other channels. Except mine. Unlike the hat, the Vol Boy is very easy to draw. Pretty much all you do is draw sunglasses and there you go. After that, you pretty much just draw a stop sign with some wings at the end. Seriously, that's the shape. Aw, oh, look at me struggle. Seriously though, screw that hat. A little disclaimer here, I drew that about two months ago and since then I have gotten better at drawing hats. The easiest way is to just start with the visor. And in this point of view, it connects to the ear and then wraps around to his forehead. Well, hey, look, guys, I did it. Where the hell did that accent come from? If memory serves me right, that jacket is called the flapjack, and that's pretty easy to do. All you have to do is make sure one flaps out more than the other. Well, in height. I'm talking about the little jacket flaps, by the way. Now, I feel like pretty much everything else is self-explanatory, and this is something that I keep hitting with these how-tos, is that I end up repeating myself a lot, and that's why I've been more focused on making entertaining videos rather than serious how-tos, which, I mean, I'm still happy to do. I still try to throw in, like, this is my process and this is how I think people could benefit by drawing this way. But I feel like just the plain old how-tos kind of get mundane and I don't have as much fun making them, so this is how I'm gonna do it from now on. Like, sometimes I feel like the how-tos kind of make me stressed out more than I need to be in art, but that's just because I kind of feel like I need to make sure that every line can be explained. So that makes it so just the drawing process is a lot harder to get through. But I mean, on the other hand, I really love helping people out in drawing. And if I can do that, might as well. Like, I've been doing that ever since I started doing YouTube back in, what, 2008? Jesus Christ. I've been here a while. Anyways, back to the drawing. You can use anything at all to ink. Well, except the ones that smear a lot if you're using Copics. That's... I can't tell you exactly which ones do smear and which ones don't smear because it not only depends on what you're using, but how much Copics you're putting onto the actual drawing itself. A lot of people use Copic multiliners. I used to use Sakura inking pens because I was a weeb. But now I just use pens from the dollar store, mainly because I'm a college student with no money. But I mean, hey, whatever works. My advice for Copics is make sure you put the darkest first, make sure you have at least two tones, and that's probably about it. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. Please let me know if you guys like this format better or if you like the more serious how-tos. I know I like these better, but I need to make sure that when I teach something, it actually gets through to my audience. So please let me know. Bye.